won a cup tie and promised to be at Blackpool. The home side backs to the camera in this shot against West Brom. Both teams in the cream of the first division. A good sign for Blackpool that the ball was in the Albion goal area in the first seconds. That Prince of Players veteran Stanley Matthews beat Albion left back Williams. Danger for Potter. Then a shot by Charlie rebounded from the Albion crossbar and spun back into the net. West Brom a goal down in two minutes. Strongly attacked. No luck this time. Matthews, beating Williams almost as he liked, put in a goal-worthy centre, but Potter cleared. Still, there was no stopping this Blackpool side. Inside left, Dury beat his man. Shot, and miraculous Blackpool were two up. Albion couldn't believe it. Robson got his head to a likely ball, fortunately for Blackpool, just outside. It was getting monotonous, the easy way Matthews was putting in centre after centre. However, no more goals in. Blackpool two, Albion nil at half-time. West Bromwich resumed as if they meant to wipe out the deficit. Great side as they are, with a wonderful cup record, they might have pulled the game out of the fire even now. Especially when a good header put that dangerous man, Bobby Robson, in possession. He scored! West Brom were now really back in the game. Farm was fortunate to save Blackpool's goal on one occasion. The Seasiders knew they had to attack again to make victory soar. They didn't want any replay if they could help it. Outside left, Perry's pass was intercepted. The ball went back to him, then to Charnley, and the centre forward got goal number three. So Blackpool won brilliantly, 3-1.